1975, the Mariana Trench was the deepest place on Earth. Welcome to this media information episode where we deeply dive and explore the mysteries of the ocean depths. Today, we will be discussing the Mariana Trench, the deepest point on Earth. The Mariana Trench is located in the Western Pacific Ocean, east of the Mariana Islands, and is named after them. The trench is approximately 2,550 kilometers long and 69 kilometers wide, with a maximum depth of about 11 kilometers. It is a fascinating and mysterious place that has captured the imagination of scientists and adventurers alike. So, let's dive in and explore the depths of the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is an area of intense scientific interest because of the unique conditions found there. The trench is the result of the collision of two tectonic plates, the Pacific Plate and the Philippine Plate. The Pacific Plate is moving westward and is being subducted, or pushed under, the Philippine Plate. The trench is formed where these two plates meet, and it is the deepest part of the ocean. The pressure at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is over 1,000 times greater than at the surface, which makes it an incredibly challenging environment for any living creature. The temperature at the bottom of the trench is nearly freezing, and there is no sunlight, making it a very difficult place for any life to exist. However, despite the extreme conditions, life still exists at these depths. The creatures that live in the Mariana Trench have evolved to cope with the lack of sunlight, intense pressure, and limited food resources. One of the most famous creatures found in the Mariana Trench is the deep-sea anglerfish. This strange-looking fish has a light attached to its head that attracts prey in the dark depths of the ocean. Another unique creature found in the trench is the giant isopod, which can grow up to 50 centimeters long and has a tough exoskeleton to protect itself from pressure. In recent years, several expeditions have been conducted to explore the Mariana Trench. In 2012, James Cameron made a solo descent to the bottom of the trench in the Deep Sea Challenger submarine becoming the first person to reach the deepest part of the ocean since 1960. The expedition discovered new species of sea creatures, including a type of amphipod that was over 10 centimeters long. Scientists are also interested in the Mariana Trench. Because of the potential for discovering new species and understanding the geology of the area, the trench provides a unique environment for studying the ocean and the Earth's crust. Scientists can use the trench's features to study how the Earth's crust is formed and how tectonic plates move. The Mariana Trench has also been the site of several international research projects. In 2016, a team of researchers from the United States, Japan, and Russia conducted a month-long expedition to the trench to study its geology and biology. The team collected samples from the trench and discovered several new species of marine life. Despite the scientific interest in the Mariana Trench, it is also an area of concern for environmentalists. The trench is located in the Pacific Ring of Fire, which is a region of active volcanic and earthquake activity. The trench is also located near the Kermatic Tonga Trench, which is another deep sea trench that is home to several endangered species of marine life. Recent scientific expeditions have discovered surprisingly diverse life in these harsh conditions. Animals living in the deepest parts of the Mariana Trench survive in complete darkness and extreme pressure," said Natasha Gallo, a doctoral student at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography who has studied video footage from filmmaker James Cameron's 2012 expedition into the trench. Food in the Mariana Trench is extremely limited because the deep gorge is far from the land. Terrestrial plant material rarely finds its way into the bottom of the trench. Gallo told Live Science that dead plankton sinking from the surface must drop thousands of feet to reach Challenger Deep. Instead, some microbes rely on chemicals such as methane or sulfur, while other creatures gobble marine life that's below them on the food chain. The three most common organisms at the bottom of the Mariana Trench are xenophyophores, amphipods, and small sea cucumbers, holothurians. The single-celled xenophyophores resemble giant amoebas, and they eat by surrounding and absorbing their food. Amphipods are shiny, shrimp-like scavengers commonly found in deep-sea trenches. How they survived down there was a bit of a mystery because amphipod shells dissolve easily in the high pressures of the Mariana Trench. But in 2019, Japanese researchers found that at least one species of the Mariana Trench dwellers uses aluminum. 
extracted from seawater to shore up its shell. During Cameron's 2012 expedition, scientists also spotted microbial mats in the Serena Deep, the zone east of the Challenger Deep. These clumps of microbes feed on hydrogen and methane released by chemical reactions between seawater and rocks. One of the region's top predators is a deceptively vulnerable-looking fish. In 2017, scientists reported they had collected specimens of an unusual creature. Dubbed the Mariana snailfish, which lives at a depth of about 26,200 feet 8,000 meters. The snailfish's small, pink, and scaleless body hardly seems capable of surviving in such a punishing environment. But this fish is full of surprises, researchers reported in a study published that year in the journal Zootaxa. The animal appears to dominate this ecosystem, going deeper than any other fish and exploiting the absence of competitors. By gobbling up the plentiful invertebrate prey that inhabits the trench, the study authors wrote, Unfortunately, the deep ocean can be a potential sink for released pollutants and debris. In his 2017 study published in the journal Nature Ecology and Evolution, a research team led by scientists from the University of Newcastle in the UK found that man-made chemicals banned in the 1970s are still being used. Indicated that C. Researchers found very high concentrations of persistent organic pollutants in the adipose tissue of the organisms while sampling amphipods from the Mariana and Kermatic grooves. Bottom. These include polychlorinated biphenyls and polybrominated diphenyl ethers, commonly used as electrical insulators and flame retardants. According to a study published in the journal Nature Ecology and Evolution. Chemicals that exist. These were released into the environment from industrial accidents and landfill runoff from the 1930s until they were finally banned in the 1970s. While we still think of the deep sea as a remote and pristine area safe from human interference. Our research, unfortunately, shows that we cannot be farther from the truth, the statement said. In fact, the amphipods surveyed contained levels of contamination similar to Suruga Bay, one of the most polluted industrial areas in the western North Pacific. Finally, the Mariana Trench is a unique and fascinating place that offers a glimpse into the extreme conditions of the deep ocean. The trench is a result of the collision of tectonic plates, and it is the deepest part of the ocean. The trench provides a unique environment for studying the ocean and the Earth's crust. And scientists have discovered several new species of marine life during expeditions to the trench. However, the trench is also an area of concern for environmentalists due to its location in the Pacific Ring of Fire and its proximity to other deep-sea trenches that are home to endangered species of marine life.